So in today's tutorial, we'll be looking at how to write some function in R, and here yeah, we'll be looking at some advanced functions, right? So let's look at the outline. We'll be looking at some piecewise functions and some sequence functions. Let's jump to the piecewise. So with a piecewise function, we have this, and we want to write a serial code for this in R. How do we do that? Let's move or jump into our R Studio. So I'm going to have um, piecewise function and I'm going to call this um, f f dot t function or oh, let me change it to piece I think it's okay it's okay let's let's move on you can name it in a different way so piecewise function we have this and in this we have t to be our input variable now let's go back to the function we have f of t to be this if t is less than 2 we are going to get this result if t is equal to 2 exactly 2 we are going to get this result and if t is between this range we are going to get a result of this so how do we start with the first one and we can do this pretty well using the if and else statement the if and if else statement um, or the else if instead if an else if statement works pretty well in some of these advanced functions so I'm gonna start with if my t is less than 2 I'm supposed to get some result and that result is what t squared so that's it for the first case so um, results for first case right else if t is exactly 2 so i am using double equality sign to show that it is an equality not an assignment operator so if t is equal to 2 i'm supposed to get a result which is exactly 6 else if t is um, greater than 2 and t is less than or equal to 6 I'm supposed to get a result of 10 minus t right else I want to include another case so let me name this result for first case um, result for second case then result for third case right else if t is less than is, is more than 6 so if it is less than 2 we are going to get a result is between this range what if it is more than 6 what are you supposed to get so I'm going to put in this should display error so let me use print print arrow um, undefined right so I'm just adding another case to it so um, result for um, final case right so um, let's look at how this works let's let's run this so I'm highlighting it to run control enter to run this right so let's look at the results f dot t if my t is less than 2 I'm supposed to get a result that is t squared so let's see 
if it works f dot t um yeah i'm using minus let me see minus 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 three let's use minus three it's less than two right so um display result for first case display results um for case one let's copy and paste display result for case two so what case two says that t should be exactly two so let's make t two so um display result for case two then case three says it should range t should range between two and six right so i'm gonna use let's use another three yeah it's now positive three and the last but not the least final case if it is more than six so let me use um seven it's more than six right or can you 6.5 it's more than six right so let's 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 try this and see the results that we're gonna get let me run the first one so if you run this i think it's running the results will show very soon then um let me run the second one as it's still running so the first one has been displayed nine so if it is less than two um minus three squared is basically going to be nine yeah and if it is exactly two i'm getting six so i'm good to go what if it ranges between two and six let's run this for case three and for case four so let's let's run this so i'm gonna seven so 10 minus three is yes yeah, seven now let's see the last case if it works mm, for case four And it works it's undefined so it's not satisfying any other condition so we are good to go so we are done with this type of function with us an advanced function piecewise function right so um let's look at the next function that's the Fibonacci sequence with a Fibonacci sequence um let's look at the syntax how the algorithm look like we have f of n to be this and we have some initial values if n is 1 we are going to get 1 if n is 2 you're going to get 2 but if n is more than 2 you're going to get a result of this how do we do this in R so I'm gonna I'm gonna give a preamble the Fibonacci sequence see the code for Fibonacci Let me do see the code for Fibonacci sequence so I'm gonna name it Fibonacci 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 right I'm gonna name it this Fibnatch. Let me make it Fibnatch. Function. Oh, I need only n, n, right? Where n, um, n supposed to be what? A positive integer. Right. So, how do we do this? Um, let's let's go back to the algorithm how does it look like so first let me start with the initial values if n is 1 I'm supposed to get this if n is 2 I'm supposed to get this but if it's more than that I'm supposed to get this so let's start with the initial values if statement works pretty well with this if n is exactly 1 I'm supposed to get f1 my f1 is supposed to be 1 so display f1 
right so um, display results for um, f of one else if else if right else if um my n is exactly two then i'm supposed to get f2 which is two right exactly two so um display f2 right so you can copy and paste display result for f2 then um else if n is now more than two oh you're supposed to get fn and fn is given by fibnatch so fibnatch n minus one plus fibnatch and minus two right so display fn display fn right so let me add another um case else i want to add another one else if n is less than one because what if it's less than one so if n is less than one i'm gonna use the cut function which works like a print function right so um error um n must n must be positive into your so i think i'm good to go now let's 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 look at it it might be a positive integer so um fn so let's run this and see our results i'm using control enter to run it you can use the button here if you want to so um let's look at a result for our first case fibonacci if it is one if n is one so um if n is one um what if n is two so let me change this to two if n is more than two so let's use five right what if n is five if r is more than two i can use three if, if you want to three then the last case um if it's less than one if n is less than one so let's use um minus one right so let's let's look at the results so i want to run this Control enter and have one. Let's run this. Control enter. It's giving us the two. Okay. Now let's come to this. When n is three, which is more than two. Pretty well. What if it is less than one? okay so error n must be a positive integer okay but um you see because this is a sequence i would like to use the s apply function to give me the result for the first 10 um, sequence right so fibonacci fibonacci let's let's look at the first 10 results which should give us yeah yeah so for the first one second third fourth fifth and it continues in that order so i think we are pretty well to go um 
think this will bring us to the end of today's session and I have one trial work for you you can try this and let's come can comment and gi give me your f um, response right and if there's any help I can also come in to assist you so thank you for making time with me and hope to see you next time but don't forget to subscribe so that anytime I make a new video you can have access to it thank you for watching see you next time